So this video will accompany our last video where we discussed the fundamental theorem of algebra. The fundamental theorem of algebra says that the complex numbers is an algebraically closed field, meaning that every polynomial with complex coefficients has a complex root. And the idea in the proof was to take a polynomial, such as this polynomial that I've typed into the software Mathematica, x to the third plus x plus two plus i, and plug in r e to the i t wherever you see an x. And then you watch what happens as t, or theta in the last video, ranges from zero to two pi, and r changes from zero to a very large number. Okay, so if r is close to zero, then my function f of x, or f of r e to the i t, will be very close to the constant term in my polynomial, two plus i. So you can see here in this picture, when r is close to zero, this value of r is 0 0.044, my function, my plot of my function, is very close to the number two, plus i, my complex coefficient. Now I'm going to play this movie, and this movie will increase the value of r. When r gets large, I'm expecting to see three large circles, because the leading term in my polynomial dictates the behavior of what's going on when r is large. Okay, so here I play the movie, and I could see that when r is close to zero, my function is close to two plus i, and then as r gets bigger and bigger and bigger, I'm seeing three big circles. Now, the, the value of r that I'm most interested in is a value of r where my picture touches the origin, the zero, zero, the middle point. It's got to pass through the middle point at some value, r, because it starts at two plus i, this number, and grows until you have three very large circles. Eventually, those very large circles will enclose the origin in the middle. So there's gotta be a value of r in between zero and a very big value of r that the function just kisses the origin. So let me try to pause the video right at that first value. Oh, I got close. Let me increase r a little bit. So right about here, you can see that there's a value on the blue curve that touches the origin, zero, zero. It's approximately 1.074. That value is a zero of the function f. So there's an angle theta between zero and two pi and a value r, which is approximately 1.074, that gives me a root of my polynomial. If I continue playing the video, you could see that there are two other roots of the polynomial as well. One about here at 1.388, and one about here at 1.504 but I indeed have at least one root of the polynomial. Okay, let's, let's do this again for a, a new polynomial. So let's change the polynomial and see what things look like. So let's say I do x to the fourth plus two minus i x to the third plus x squared minus x plus two minus two i. Okay, so here's my new polynomial. What I'm gonna start with is a value of r equaling zero. That will give me a value of the function close to two minus two i. So down here at two minus two i. Then, hopefully, as r gets bigger, I will eventually have four large circles that encompass zero, zero, and at some value of r, I must pass through the origin. Okay, let's play the video and see what happens. Oh my gosh, that one's pretty cool. But there, 
a little bit before, I did hit the origin. I'm going to hit the origin a few times here. Let's see. Let's count how many times I hit the origin. So one, two, three, four. I hit the origin four times. That's a pretty cool looking function here. All right, let's do it again. Let's plug in a new function and see what uh, things look like. This is kind of nice. So let's do x to the, how about I do x to the sixth minus one. Okay, so when r is zero, I'm gonna be at negative one over here. And the function should grow to be six large circles at some point passing through zero, zero, getting a root of the polynomial. Okay, so play the video. Oh, well, I guess in that case, uh, I just get one root at r equals one. Of course, every root of unity uh, will be a root of this polynomial. So let's change it just a little bit here. Let's change this to minus, let's do x to the six plus x plus one. See how that changes things. Oh, that one was great. Turned into like a flower or something. But regardless, the fundamental theorem of algebra is true. I start at the value one and grow to be large circles, eventually passing through the origin. I like that one. Look at that. That's beautiful. Let's change this to, what if I did x to the third plus ix plus three? Ah, amazing. Okay, well, that is a proof of the fundamental theorem of algebra. Fantastic.